Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It's January 12th, currently 9.33 in the morning. I am getting unloaded, and the weather out here is crap here in Indianapolis. It's freezing rain. It's about to snow here, 30 minutes to an hour. It's going to snow all day. It's about 4 p.m. So yeah, I don't expect to go anywhere today. Because I ain't driving in this crap. Not empty. And I doubt I'll drive loaded. Yeah, I'm sure I could. But I don't have to. But anyway, I got some good news. My uh, CB, my 29 LTD uh, black chrome uh, Cobra 29 that I sent to Bell CB in Oakdale, Florida. They're done with it. I paid for it. They did a YouTube video on it. On a, uh, it's called a tune-up report. And it's freaking awesome. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm going to show you a vid the video. Right now. It's like a two, two and a half minute or two minutes and 50 seconds long. But man, this thing puts out hello everybody welcome to Bell CB got a big build we just finished here uh, for Michael in Kentucky he sent us this black chrome version of the Cobra 29 and asked for a bunch of stuff we got uh, nitro knobs but no knobs just the rings you see how it's kind of glowing from behind the rings let me see if I go up here so we put in the rings for him. No nature now, he wants to just shine from behind. Okay, we also put in this control here for the Echo. We also put in RFX 75 on here that he sent us. Uh, don't get excited, we don't have any more in stock yet. Uh, and the fan kit, of course, we put on there as well. So let's check a look and check a look. Yeah, let's check and look at the output. We're reading on the bottom there, it looks like about 13 watts. And over here on my peak reader, I have a 100 watt slug, so we'll be reading on the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five. Check, 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 check. Audio. One, two, three, four, five. Audio. Check, check, check. Audio. One, two, three, four, five. And you can hear the echo in there. I got to set where I like it. Check. Okay. Uh. Showed you everything. See what they're on right here. For radio check. Thank you for calling the National Radio Check Hotline. All the radio check operators are busy right now, but if you'll please stand by as soon as the radio check operator becomes available, one will be with you. Again, thank you for calling the National Radio Check Hotline. Please stand by. Good, good, good work is coming in. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, that's the that's the video of my radio. Uh, they should ship it to me, FedEx. It should be at the house here, hopefully in a few days. Um, maybe longer because of the storm. I don't know. I ain't gonna be home to get it. So as long as I get it, um, I also ordered a custom faceplate for it. It's a black background with blue tribal flames. It matches well the color blue. Kind of matches the same color, but it's tribal 
inflamed coming up from the bottom. And then I had them change the font to tribal font. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that right here. So yeah, I can't wait to get it. Um, I showed you guys my C, uh, my CB. I showed you my antenna that I got. Which is this bad boy here. Um, <clears throat> I can't hook that CB up to the uh, CB, the, the positive and the negative little connectors up there because it's pushing over 100 watts uh, it was pegging that 100 watt meter or the 100 watt scale um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to buy me some 10 aug wire and connect it to the fuse box uh, uh, that I'm going to be mounting on the back side of my battery box so, I'm not going to be able to use it until I do that. But that's okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, that's my CB. That's my antenna. Uh, I will put a link to Bell CB, the website. And uh, their YouTube channel in the description box down below. Um, they're old school. Um, they're really good at what they do um, if you're down in the Oakdale Florida area which I believe it's, it's Fort Lauderdale area um, you need some CB work done stop in get it done uh, if not um, if you want any modifications like I did you can send them the, send them your radio like I did and uh, yeah, they just made a customer for life. Uh, I'm really impressed um, of what I've seen. Now, I still got to get the radio in and, and, you know, have it in my hands and, and, and test it out for myself. But so far, from what I've seen, their video, uh, their customer service, you know, talking with them via email, I have no complaints. I highly recommend them. Um, yeah. But anyways, I'm getting unloaded. I mean, I see traffic driving and everything, but... It's like, why even bother? I was looking at Google Maps this morning, and, and there was accidents all around 465. It's starting to show green, but that'll probably change when it starts snowing. So, I don't know. I may camp out here for the day, or I may, uh, I'm 17 miles to the, um, truck stops there in Whiteland. Um, or I may be picking up here. I don't know yet. So, Hopefully whatever load they give me doesn't require me to drive today because uh, either way I'm not driving through that storm. That storm, here's Indianapolis, that storm's going like this. So I'm not going to go through the storm that way. I'm not going to go south through the storm. I'm not going to go that way through the storm. The only way I can go would be directly east or southeast. And uh, quite frankly, you know, uh, since I own my truck and I don't have a truck payment anymore, I, it's not going to hurt me to take today off. It really won't. So, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. Alright everybody, I'm at the Flying J here in Whiteland, Indiana. Exit 95. And you can see the snow just coming down now. I don't know if you can see out my windshield. But, you can... Yeah, it's nasty. I am shut down for the day. I am empty. And I ain't driving in this crap. So, yeah. Alright guys, I am, uh, I am at the Flying J here in Whiteland, Indiana. Exit 95 off of 65. 
And as you can see in that little video clip, that uh, it's snowing. Now you can see in my, out my window right there how the wind's blowing. My truck's starting to shake. It's starting to come down heavier. The roads in Indianapolis, I counted 12 accidents right now going on in Indianapolis right now. Because I knew this morning when I woke up with the freezing rain and everything, the road conditions were going to be bad. The road crews cut out, you know, they, they cleaned that up. Roads started turning green according to Google Maps. And then, you know, you had an hour to a window of, for the most part, decent roads. And then as soon as the snow hits, all of Indianapolis is all orange again with 11 or 12 accidents currently going on right now. So that's why I made the decision to shut her down for the day because I am not driving empty in this, in this stuff. I'm not going to do it. It's not me that I'm worried about or my uh, capability of driving. I, I've driven in this stuff before plenty of times. I'm not scared to drive it. I'm just choosing not to. Truck's paid for. This is my livelihood. Uh, this is my money maker. I'm not putting myself at risk or my equipment. And, uh, but like I said, it's not me I'm worried about. I'm worried about the other driver. The idiots that are out there driving in this right now. You know, the, the risk takers. I'm not a risk taker. Well, at least not in the wintertime drive. No. It's going to stop snowing here about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Road crews work all through this evening, all through the night and the morning. And I, I can almost... I can almost bet that when I wake up in the morning, everything is going to be green back to uh, back to normal. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, today's going to be a short vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you like the video, hit that like button. Comment down below what you think of my my uh, my CB. Uh, I think it's freaking awesome. And it matches my color scheme for my truck. It's, well, especially with the new faceplate. Uh, I know in the, the picture of the faceplate in this uh, video, you can't see how it, the whole thing. That's just a render, a rendering of it. Now, that either that picture is going to be in here, or my wife is supposed to take a picture of the actual faceplate at home and send it to me so if she does that and send it to me by the time I add this video then that picture would have, you would have saw that one but either way you get a nice idea of what it's going to look like so comment down below what you think and you know what kind of radio do you run or what's your setup um, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow I need it I need a I always look here, but the camera is right here. I gotta get—I haven't got used to that. I want to look at the center of the screen, but it makes me look like I'm not looking at it, and I need to look over here. Because when I look at here, now I'm looking directly at you guys. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow.